Welcome to the Compressed Gas Handling, Transporting and Storing Safety Training. This training is designed to ensure technicians and other personnel that handle compressed gas cylinders do so in a safe manner to prevent accidents and injuries in the workplace. In this training we will review some of the hazards associated with compressed gas cylinders. Review how to identify and inspect cylinders for damage and potential hazards. And, review how to safely handle, store, and transport compressed gases. When handling, transporting and storing compressed gases it's important to follow all safety precautions. If not handled properly, these compounds can create an unsafe working environment. Compressed gases are stored at very high pressures, which can lead to explosions or fires if the gas is released too quickly or if the storage container is damaged. Accidents involving compressed gases can result in serious injury or even death. Many compressed gases are flammable, toxic, or corrosive, and can pose serious health risks to individuals and the environment if they are not handled with care. There are strict regulations regarding the handling and storage of compressed gases. Failing to comply with regulations can result in fines or legal penalties. Compressed gases can pose a variety of physical and chemical hazards if not handled and stored properly. In this section, we will discuss some of the physical and chemical hazards posed by compressed gases. Flammability Some compressed gases are highly flammable and can pose a fire hazard if not handled with care. Examples of flammable gases include acetylene, propane, and butane. Explosives Compressed gases can be explosive if released too quickly or if the storage cylinder is damaged or exposed to extreme heat. Examples of explosive gases include hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. Some gases are defined as simple asphyxiants. An asphyxiant is a substance that displaces oxygen in the atmosphere, leading to oxygen deprivation. Individuals who are exposed to an asphyxiant can become unconscious or die. Some examples of asphyxiant gases include nitrogen, argon, helium, and CO2. Toxicity Compressed gas cylinders can contain toxic compounds that can cause serious health effects if inhaled, and are capable of causing death or serious debilitation. Examples of toxic gases include chlorine, ammonia, nitrogen dioxide, and carbon monoxide. Corrosive Some compressed gases are highly corrosive and can damage materials, including metal, plastic, and rubber. Examples of corrosive gases include hydrogen chloride and sulfur dioxide. Compressed gases stored at extremely low temperatures and can pose a risk of frostbite or burns if they come into contact with skin. Examples of cryogenic gases include liquid nitrogen and helium. Some additional hazards posed by compressed gas cylinders include Mechanical failures caused by overpressurization Flashbacks that can result in flying debris property damage, and injuries. Moving and transporting cylinders can cause struck by injuries, crushed hands, fractures, internal injuries, muscle strains, and in some cases lead to amputations and, when not stored correctly, cylinders can fall and roll which can lead to an explosion, or injuries. In the workplace, some cylinders can contain strong oxidizing gases. Oxidizers such as oxygen gas can vigorously accelerate the combustion of other materials, intensify fires, and can explode when heated. Oxidizers must be stored a minimum of 20 feet away from combustible materials, oils, grease and flammable gases. When storing any compressed gas, always remember to follow the storage instructions on the label affixed to the container. In this section, we will review how to identify compressed gases and what to look for when inspecting cylinders for damages and potential hazards. Manufacturers are responsible for the proper labeling of compressed gases they produce. The cylinders must have the name of the gas, the hazard class, and any other relevant information such as hazard statements, the manufacturer's name and the date of manufacture. It is also important to regularly inspect and maintain cylinders to ensure that they are in good condition and are safe to use. The proper identification of compressed gases can help prevent accidents and injuries by ensuring that cylinders are handled and used correctly. 
This is particularly important because different gases have different properties and can pose different risks. Each compressed gas cylinder should have a neck collar label that is legible. The product name, ID number, hazard class, signal word, precautionary statements, and manufacturer contact information must be visible on the container. If the label is missing, notify your supervisor so the cylinder can be labeled correctly. When trying to determine the contents of a cylinder, never rely on the color and always review the product label to identify the cylinder contents. You should never attempt to remove, modify or cover cylinder labels at any time. If the label on the cylinder becomes illegible or detached, the container should be marked as contents unknown, and the manufacturer should be contacted so the compound can be profiled and correctly labeled. You should never use cylinders with missing labels. Doing so can create an unsafe environment and lead to injuries. The visual inspection of compressed gas containers is a critical activity that should be performed frequently. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration requires compressed gas cylinders to be visually inspected to ensure that they are in a safe condition. If cylinders do not pass a visual inspection, they should be removed from service and repaired or re-qualified following the Department of Transportation's requirements. During the visual inspection process, you should look for the following items. Any bulges of the container, defective or inoperable valves, any signs of fire or heat damage, any dents, excessive pitting, gouges, or any rusting or corrosion. Cylinders should also be checked for leaks, as this can indicate a problem with the cylinder or the valve. It's important that individuals performing inspections are competent and understand what items to look for during the inspection process. Here are some typical damages associated with compressed gas cylinders. Excessive rusting bulging of the container, burns caused by arc flashes, and pitting. In this section, we will review safe handling procedures, proper cylinder storage, and how to transport compressed gases safely. Compressed gas cylinders must be properly handled during transportation, use, and storage to minimize the risk of an accident or injury. The following safe work practices should be followed when handling compressed gases. You should complete the required training before handling or using compressed gases. Always keep cylinders secured in an upright position, including when in use. Do not strike cylinders against items or surfaces. Never expose cylinders to electrical circuits or use a cylinder as a ground when welding with electricity. Also, never strike an electrode against a cylinder. Never position cylinders near heat or ignition sources such as open flames. Only use cylinders for their intended use. For example, do not use them as rollers or supports. And never attempt to refill cylinders. When transporting compressed gases, regulators should be removed, and all valves must be closed. If the cylinder is equipped with a valve cap, the cap must be in place and secured before transportation. Use cradles that keep the cylinder upright and secured against accidental tip over. Do not lift the cylinder by their valves. Never drag or roll cylinders horizontally. Never lay cylinders on their sides. Ensure cylinders are secured while in the vehicle to prevent movement. Do not transport large quantities of compressed gases. Ensure safety data sheets are readily available, and do not drop, throw or strike cylinders against other items or surfaces. The proper storage of compressed gases is important to minimize the risk of accidents and ensures the safety of workers. Here are some guidelines for storing compressed gas cylinders safely. Always store cylinders in a cool, dry, and well-ventilated area away from heat sources. Ensure storage areas have no smoking signs and the name of the compressed gases are posted. Store units upright and secured to prevent tipping or falling. Use appropriate storage equipment, such as racks or cabinets for cylinders. Always remove regulators and hoses before storage. Store empty and full cylinders separately. Don't store cylinders where they can be damaged. Ensure valves are closed prior to storage. Store cylinders on a level surface that is free from debris. And don't store cylinders where they are exposed to chemical or electrical hazards. 
When storing oxidizers such as oxygen, these compounds must be stored at least 20 feet from flammable gases, oil, grease, and other combustible materials. OSHA allows the use of a firewall partition that is at least 5 feet high as a substitute for the 20 feet separation requirement. If the cylinder valve is equipped with a cap, ensure these protective devices are installed before storage. Finally, cylinders should be stored away from aisles, doorways, and other paths of egress. Following these safe work practices when handling compressed gases will help to avoid accidents and injuries in the workplace. If you have any questions or need additional information on the items covered in this training, please contact your supervisor for additional information. Thank you and have a safe day. Did you know that in 2020, a study conducted by the Associated Builders and Contractors found that daily safety toolbox talks lead to a remarkable 82% reduction in total recordable incident rates compared to those conducted monthly? The study shows that the frequency of toolbox talks directly correlates with incident rates. Consistent safety toolbox talks lead to less accidents, which is why many companies this year are using Safely EO to to create and schedule these talks weeks and months in advance, so your team will be consistently reminded of the job hazards and safety protocols. You get access to Safely Yeo's Toolbox Talk Library that comes with hundreds of text-based and video-based toolbox talks that covers any industry. The Toolbox Talk app makes it easy for your employees and supervisors to consume safety talks from their own mobile devices and acknowledge its completion at the click of a button. All completed safety talks are tracked and the data can be exported and available for use. The platform digitizes your safety talks process so you can focus on what really matters, keeping your team safe and informed. Don't wait until it's too late. Workplace incidents can cost your company millions in liability lost productivity, and damaged reputation. To learn more, just click the link in the description of this video to request a quick demo.